One year ago, the earthquake hit Haiti. A quarter of a million people died. The world promised to help the Haitians rebuild a new and better country. Yet something happened that day that has left those promises and the future of Haiti hanging in the balance. On January the 12th, the day of the earthquake, the National Penitentiary held four and a half thousand inmates, powerful gang leaders and hundreds of their foot soldiers, men accused of robbery, kidnapping, and murder. At 10 to five, they were finishing their evening meal. Terrified prisoners, packed 300 to a cell, tore open the gates with their bare hands. Facing them were the prison guards. As daylight faded, the guards began to panic. Even prisoners crushed by falling masonry managed to crawl free. The escaped prisoners melted into the slums of the devastated capital. Among them, gangsters who'd once controlled much of Port-au-Prince. Their brutality and political power had turned Haiti into the epitome of a failed state. Now they had a chance to do so again. <laughs> 